There were nearly 2,000 medically confirmed cases of foodborne illnesses reported in the UP in 2011. Some of our Facebook viewers wanted to know more. And how do you know you have food poisoning? And how do you prevent it? TV6's Nikki Davidson joins us in the studio now with more. Nikki? Steve, the health department tells me that foodborne illness is actually very underreported, so that number is much higher. In fact, many people don't even know they have foodborne illness, but health officials say it's much more common than you may think. One in six Americans come down with foodborne illness every year. General gastrointestinal illness is the most common form in the UP with symptoms of diarrhea, fever, and vomiting, and it's self misdiagnosed often. People think they have the flu. They want to report the flu. And we have a lot of people say, well, I got the flu shot, but I still got the flu. Well, in fact, you didn't have the flu. What you had was probably a gastrointestinal foodborne illness. Health officials say the best thing to do is visit your doctor to determine what's really ailing you. Jeffries and Marquette says they've got several employees certified in proper food handling procedures and keep their food especially safe by buying locally and using those ingredients quickly. It is a very serious situation, and I take it uh, very seriously. We have a high quality product and that it is safe from foodborne illness. The top five causes of food poisoning are improper holding and cooking temperatures, contaminated utensils, poor hygiene, and food from unsafe sources. Facebook viewer Sally Cartonin asks, should it be reported to the health department if it started from a public source? The answer is yes, but officials say the origin isn't always easy to find. A lot of people misunderstand they have what's called last meal bias so if they get sick right away they think it's the last place they've eaten at that they want to blame and they're very very sure that's what caused their illness when in, react, when in reality that's normally not the case. Now, every case of foodborne illness should be reported to the health department. They say that they usually receive a flurry of complaints if foodborne illness is indeed from a public source. If that happens, they'll then conduct an investigation. 